For those that have seen our videos at wheretoshorefish.com, you'll know they give a good guide to the marks on the south coast to show you exactly where to fish. But what if you want to know when best to fish these marks, how best to fish them and why? Well, to answer those questions, we're filming Tackle Shop Tactics, a new series in which you can learn from the men who speak to more anglers and receive more fishing intel than anyone else, the local tackle shop owners. First up, East Sussex and the Eastbourne area. Of all the tackle shops in the region, the one I really wanted to get for you is the Angler's Den in Pevensey Bay. The shop's a pleasure to visit and they've been very helpful when I've asked their advice. So I was really pleased when Kev and Glyn Morgan, the two brothers who run the shop, agreed to share with you their local knowledge on camera. There's no tackle or rigs in the film. Instead, we focus on what's most important. Where are the fish gonna be? when and in what conditions. So let's hear from the Angler's Den then to find out in the Eastbourne area as we move through the calendar year what fishing is available for you. We start off with July, August and September. In uh, July, August, September in, in this area, um, in Pemsey Bay area um, especially, um, the species tends to be, our summer species tend to be uh, black bream, uh, mackerel when they're running, um, bass, uh, sole fishing, Dover sole at night is quite good um, and we, I mean there are other summer species such as garfish which can prove good fun. Smooth hounds we get. This Smooth hounds, uh, at, certainly at the shallower end of Pemsey Bay, Norman's Bay end tends to, they tend to um, be more more of a species caught in, in the shallow end of Pemsey Bay but we do get some good smooth hounds, we've got a lot, we get a lot of small ones turn up first um, and then generally, generally as a rule of thumb, they're followed by, by the bigger ones, aren't they? Usually at this time of year, yeah. Um, this is a classic case of when the holiday maker says they nearly had their rod pulled in, what was it? It's nearly always a big smooth out. Yeah. Um, always, yeah. What month do you expect the smoothies to start appearing on your beaches? Smooth hounds normally start appearing, uh, the small ones start appearing, can uh, start as early as um, late May, early June. Um, and then they start to increase in numbers through late June and into July when they tend to get bigger. Yeah, so um, expect to catch the larger fish then. Um, so we don't get the monsters that get other places. We get some nice fish though, up to double figures. Ten pound is a uh, been heard of. Uh, six, seven, eight pounders. We've had good sessions down Norman's Bay ourselves before. We had a load of seven and eight pounders. Yeah, I think um, I think yeah, I think seven yeah. and eight pound is probably the, the average stamp. Yeah. Uh, with the occasional double figure if you're lucky enough. What baits would you recommend for somebody wanting to target those smooth hounds? Um, crab, particularly crab, peeler crabs in particular if you can get hold of them. Fresh or frozen work. Um, hermit crab's another really good bait for them. Um, other baits work such as squid. The smaller ones tend to be caught on things like lugworms at the early season, fresh outs. Ragworm's a good bait for them. Ragworm, but then definitely. when you're targeting the bigger ones, particularly if you're fishing either down the um, woodyard or up around the rocks of Eastbourne, then usually crab then is the bait because that's what they find in that area. Mm. So specific baits to the area you're fishing. But certainly certainly we find in this area, and as Kev says, um, crab is, is, is the, the favoured bait, but, but if, for those people, sometimes it's hard to get hold of crab. Um, and ragworm, we find ragworm and squid as a cocktail um, can really work well. Uh, certainly big ragworm as well can take, can take fish, but certainly, um, uh, crab would be the, the, the favoured bait, but, but you know, closely followed if you can't get crab by rag and squid, definitely. And when would you normally expect the smooth hounds to leave the area? Uh, well, usually we catch them through August um, and then they start to tail off by the end of August, I'd have said, wouldn't you? Yeah. You get the odd fish caught in September at the end of that sort of that quarter of this part of the season, end of the summer, and it depends on the, again on the weather. If we've had an Indian summer if you like warm right through September and sometimes they can hang around a bit longer but generally the, the, the better fish are July August and then yeah. they're tailing off by the end of August I'd yeah say. I'd say yeah, yeah definitely July is the okay. best month definitely I would right. say and for the more generalist angler let's say a holiday maker who wants to catch a garfish or a mackerel for the barbecue that night when are they likely to be in your area Mackerel generally, I mean, it really depends on uh, the, the weather conditions, um, but generally they can turn up as early as uh, May, that's very early. June especially, July and August would be the three months that we would normally expect to see mackerel, but it really depends on, on the weather conditions. If the water is clear, 
then they come in earlier. Um, and if the conditions are right, if you get a nice settled period, um, then, then yeah, certain, certainly the, the key summer months really, July, uh, June, July, uh, and August, I would say, would be the key times um, for mackerel fishing. Yeah. We're very weather, weather dependent here, really. We can get a couple of days settled weather. If it blows in for a couple of days and the water's dirty, then we just don't see them again for, you know, they don't come back in, they move off into deeper water. So you really need it to be calm for probably a good week, I'd have said, or something like that. Yeah. And then you get clear water, the white baits shoal up, they herd them into the shores, and you can catch them then at your feet, you know, yeah. 10 yards out, five yards out. The key time, people don't realise, the key time for mackerel fishing actually is, is an evening, uh, like this actually, a lovely settled, calm evening when you've got high tide so it doesn't have to be a big tide in fact a uh, short tide what we call a short tide so when you've got high tide about seven eight eight o'clock in the evening so the tide is high and it allows the mackerel to shoal the white bait in as kev says into the beach and, and then have a feeding frenzy and they come right in tight to the shore and then they're easy to catch for beginners and experienced anglers alike so so that same holiday maker wants to be put on a few fish get a couple of bites what advice would you probably give him? In, in the summer months? Yeah. I would suggest, for the, for the holiday maker, and we do, I would say, uh, if he really wants to catch something, the best time to go will be at low tide um, and fish the tide back. Be careful on the big tides, but certainly at low tide on a medium tide uh, and fish the tide in, in, in the shallower area, so through Norman's Bay um, and through, right the way to White Horses through Pevensey Bay. Um, go, go at low tide and fish the tide back. You've got a chance of catching bass. There are flounder through the summer. Um, you'll get eels at low tide. You can't retain those, but at least it's a catch. Um, and then um, as the tide comes in, um, if the water clears um, and you get clarity of water, uh, the same venue can produce black bream and, um, and also, if you're lucky enough, um, then mackerel. You mentioned fishing for sole at yeah. night earlier and you showed me a fantastic capture of them in your shop the other yes. day. What time of year generally do they start showing around your area? Well they start to show, if we're lucky enough, and we have been uh, this year especially, they start to show um, at around late May, uh, early June. We generally get the small ones, uh, what we call slipper sole, uh, so very small and medium sized sole, um, tend to uh, show um, around late May, early June and then they, they get bigger. It's, you can watch them progressively, week on week, they get larger and larger, and then through, through sort of June, July, night fishing is always best for sole anyway, um, so evening and night fishing produce far greater catches. You do get some during the day if you're lucky, uh, but generally it's night, uh, evening and night fishing um, produce the most sole. Um, and funnily enough, once you get through into September, and even into October, that's when we get uh, reduced numbers of sole but they can get really big we get some quite nice sized ones um, so generally they start off small in May June they get bigger through the summer and then they tail off late summer and then we do get some quite big ones um, can get them right through to October can't we yeah we can yeah and, and uh, principal bait for those is probably lugworm we use local lugworm is the best yeah. bait for those um, not necessarily a long way out bottom of the stone sometimes just out on the sand and for these sole, are we looking at the shallower, sandier end of your area or are we looking at the other end uh, with a deeper water? Oh, pick them up right through the region, really. Mm. I would say, yeah. yeah, I would say the hot spots, though, are probably the deeper end. Yeah. From, from White Horses, which is the deeper end of Pemsey Bay, um, you can get them through the bay here. Um, probably less so at the shallower end at Norman's Bay. It wouldn't normally be considered a, an area that you would target. So you can get them. They do come, as Kev says, in, in through the whole of the bay. But I would say, for if you really want to target sole, then the deeper end of Pemsey Bay, White Horses End, or the other side, especially Langley Point. Um, Langley Point produces some good numbers of sole um, at night, definitely. You also showed me in the shop the other day uh, a nice bass, I think caught on mackerel fillet, wasn't it? Um, yeah, we had, a, we had a nice bass. Uh, caught on mackerel fillet by, by a novice angler, which was good. Well, well it, was, it wasn't a novice angler actually, that's not fair, but it was his first ever bass. Um, he caught it on mackerel fillet, actually fishing perfect tactics for bass fishing. Um, he caught it at 30 yards with a mackerel fillet, 
which is exactly where we would expect to fish for bass. We quite often in our shop tell people, you know, if you want to target a good bass, a big bass, you really want to be fishing short range because that's where they patrol uh, on all the beaches through here and Langley Point, short range fishing with a decent bait, whether it's a, a big worm bait, but, but certainly squid baits, mackerel baits, yeah. um, sand eel baits, um, all of those baits can work, but short range is the key. Um, it really is, which is why you get, sometimes you get sort of novice anglers um, that do really well and catch bass um, to the surprise of their more experienced friends who are casting twice as far, but that's where the bass are. And are the bass here all through the summer in your area? Pretty much, yeah, I'd have said, wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, I mean, they, they turn up sort of May time, um, April, May sometimes, but uh, May, June, yeah. and then particularly June, July, August, September, right through to almost Christmas really, so right yeah. June, July, August, uh, we will see bass. As we start to look at October and November and December now, when do all those summer species we've been talking about start to leave your area? Uh, well, the summer species uh, generally do start leaving uh, probably September, uh, late September and into October. We do tend, we still get bass right the way through. Bass will, will hang around, uh, can do uh, right up to Christmas. Yeah, December, um, December. Right up to, yeah, right up to December, Christmas time. Um, but generally the sole, as I said earlier, they, they do get bigger um, through late summer and into early autumn. Um, and they tend to be leaving usually by October time. Um, we, in fact, September can be quite a quite a, a changeover month. We tend to still see some of our larger um, and better uh, summer species like bass, like sole, but we also start to see just the start of some of our autumn and winter species start to show, like codling can show, whiting. Um, and we can start to see flounder and dab even show if they come in early. One of my favourite months to fish because of that, because you can catch all the summer species and quite a few of the winter species. So therefore it's, it's, it's a lovely month to fish. You don't know sometimes what you're going to catch. So as we hit the winter, are the baits you're taking out with you changing at all? Tends to be more predominantly things like lugworm yeah. rather than the big baits. Lugworm particularly yeah. because you're targeting uh, smaller fish. We're hoping like this winter for a good cod run um, because um, obviously early part of the season, February, March, April, we had a lot of small codling, really good run of small codling. As good as we've seen, what, for 10 years? Yeah, possibly, eight, 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 ten, eight, ten, ten years. years. Yeah. And so we're anticipating that a lot, not all of them, but some of those fish will come back as, as decent sizable fish because mm. they're the fastest growing fish in the sea. Basically. Past experience, uh, we have seen sort of two or three codling runs since we've had the shop um, in 24 years. Um, and we have you know, generally experienced they do tend to come right the way through in quite good numbers. Um, they'll, they'll come in the bay, they'll come at Langley Point, they get them off the pier. Um, around the rock, so they do tend to come in big numbers, probably more so through the bay here. These are uh, generally, because they are codling, um, they are relatively small fish, um, and so, you know, up, up to sort of a pound and a half, two pound, maybe two and a half pound fish, so they do come in big numbers, um, but yeah, they tend to come all through. Yeah, through, yeah, right through to Norman's Bay particularly. The bigger cod, the up to double figures, you will see a few, usually more of them caught in deep water up at Langley, Mm. Although one year we had a, a lot, what we call it, Billy's Tower down Norman's Bay and um, we had a few caught. Yes. Generally the big double figure fish will be a bit later November time up at yeah, Langley Point. But I so said the Coddle Inn, we catch right through, they'll get them at Langley, but we've had some really good catches um, right through down to uh, yeah, Norman's Bay again, Billy's Tower, where people get numbers of fish, you know, up to even double figure numbers if they come through like they have before. So for the angler wanting to stay on top of the potential codling run, should he be listening out for them hitting the beaches along Kent first, West Sussex first, or do they tend to come into all of the beaches in the region at the same time? It's quite strange actually. It, what usually happens is those codling uh, that we get, um, when we first see them in, in, as Kev said, in January, February, March, they tend to be our codling. Uh, so what they do is they spawn, they come in in the shallow waters to feed and then they, they move offshore 
um, and they move offshore for the summer and then they come back to us. So uh, they come back to us in the autumn and early part of the winter. So I think that's the same uh, along the coast. It's not like there's a shoal that moves along from Kent to Sussex, east and west. It's, it's those codlin will, will, um, will move offshore. There are codlin, they move offshore for the, for the summer months to feed and they come back on shore in the winter. And that's the same all the way along the coast. So you'll probably find that they'll start turning up in all the coastal areas at around the same time. Okay, and will you be updating your Facebook page and your website to let we everyone know? We most certainly will. Yeah, I mean, this will be the in. first. Uh, this will be the first coddling run. It's quite an exciting time. As I say, we've been had the shop for 24 years, and we've probably only seen two or three good coddling runs since we've had the shop. So it's not something that happens every year, every other year. Um, and so, and this will be the first. Hopefully, if it happens, and I'm pretty certain it will, um, it will be the first coddling run that we get where we've been on social media. Mm. So we'll make the most of it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> One man's nuisance fish is uh, another man's match winner or a blank saver. So looking at some of those species, what's the dogfish situation here? We don't see as many as, uh, as we call a nuisance fish. In fact, they're more a novelty fish for us than a, a nuisance fish. But although we are seeing more in the last couple of years, um, years ago, if you saw a dogfish, it was a rare thing in this particular venue. People go, blimey, what's that? But nowadays, we are seeing a few more. Um, people do have been known to catch three or four particularly in the deeper water up Langney, although also in the shallow end at Norman's Bay and Alice's Pipe, I've known that people catch three or four in a session, um, but not as a nuisance, not all the time, not every day, day in, day out. They tend to come in when the conditions are perfect, which is normally after a big storm or a big blow. Um, and generally, a lot of people at that time of year here are, are using lugworm to target things like uh, the wisening that we get, particularly the codlin, and consequently they're not necessarily using mackerel which also picks out the dogfish. You mentioned whiting there, for someone wanting to target them for dinner I take it they're readily available? We always say to people if you want, I mean some people want to target whiting, we do get some whiting here, we do get some big ones and they are good eating fish um, and I think we always advise people if you want to target whiting um, to, to use lugworm tipped with fish and it's and the fish we, we would advise generally would be mackerel or can be sand eel and i think sometimes you know as a, as a byproduct of that when you're using lugworm tip with fish then after a blow as kev says when the water's dirty you can definitely pick up dogfish um, because if you're if you are tipping with fish mackerel mackerel will they will come to lugworm but certainly for those people that are, might might be targeting a different species they can catch a dogfish as a bit of a bonus because unbeknown to them they're actually using the right tactics which is lug tip with a bit of fish or a bit of squid which of course dogfish love just on fish baits actually and while we're talking autumn there is a theory of course that congers leave their lairs with the deep holes and the rockiest ground in the county in your range at Beachy Head, do you think there would be a place to target them? If I was after a conger, generally I would. There's, they're very rarely caught around here, but that is definitely around Beachy Head, around the rocks, possibly right around Cow Gap, that sort of area. A lot of rock, and um, it, you're right, uh, they come in right in shore, chasing the whiting shoals effectively. So even whiting bait would be a good bait for them as a fresh bait, because congers are quite fussy, they like the fresh bait really. Um, but yeah, if you're going to try and target conger, that's the way to go. And there is a few fish hooked occasionally at Langley Point, and people hook fish and lose it or get bitten off. And I know of the odd conger that has come at Langley Point where the rough ground is. So yeah, we do get congers in the area, particularly at the deep water, and particularly around the rocky, rocky areas um, near the pier or even further around, let's say, Cow Gap or Hollywell. Um, but not a fish that generally is targeted because it doesn't come very often. It's a fairly rare fish in this area.